Hey everyone, this is Peter with Carries.net again, bringing you another review, this time of six different keyboards for the Android operating system. Again, I'm going to be running all these tests on the Samsung Captivate. And kind of the general idea of what the tests are going to include is going to be first going into the settings of each keyboard and showing you all the options that each keyboard has to offer. Then we're going to go into the messaging and type half of the Guinness World Record paragraph just to show you what the uh, recognition is, if you've typed something a lot to people before, how, it's going, how each keyboard is going to respond by typing almost that exact same thing again. And then afterwards, I'm going to type a paragraph that I wrote myself, just really general stuff, testing what new sentences and testing what um, just typing on an everyday basis is going to be like for each of these keyboards. To start off with, in this video, we're going to be doing Android 2.1. So let's first go into those settings. I just did a quick shortcut. Oh, and we're already in the settings. So when you go into your settings, at least for the Samsung, this is kind of what it'll look like. On HTC, you'll have settings, and then you'll have a ticker option next to each keyboard to engage them. Um, so let's go into the Android keyboard settings. As you can see, most of them are going to have, well, you can't see this yet, but most of them are going to have vibrate sound on key press. Uh, I've turned those off just so that you guys aren't hearing clicking or uh, hearing the vibrations all throughout this. Uh, most of them are also going to have auto capitalization, quick fixes, show suggestions, auto complete. Uh, in this case, we have voice input for the stock 2.1. You're also going to have this on 2.2. Um, so let's, so as you can see, those are the options. These are the ones that I have selected for this test. So let's go back to the home page. Let's go into messaging. Again, let's start off with the Guinness World Record phrase. So let's go in and start doing the razor toothed. Okay, as you can see, it recognized it and put it in the orange. Uh, oh, there we go. So let me try and hold this so you guys can have that autofocus work in your favor. So the razor razor toothed piranhas. Does that help? Hmm. Again, I'll try this as best I can for you guys so you can see all of the stuff that's going on. So again, uh, the highlight word is piranha, but I want to go into piranhas. It auto puts in the space when you click on the word. If, for example, I wanted to put in a period right now, when I push the period, uh, sorry. We are going to have to go back into that. So let's do another one. Razor tooth piranhas of the... And as you can see, all I had to type, I even typed in something wrong, THR. I could have just typed in TH, the the is there. So if I push the space bar, it auto inserts the word the followed by a space. Now if I had pushed the period, it would have been the followed by a period. Again, um, this is going to be pretty standard across the board as keyboards go. Um, also, once the, once the space is already in, I can now go push period. Oh, false. Uh, let's try it on the next. As you can see, there's a space afterwards, and if I go back in and push period, it automatically puts the period after genera and then puts in an automatic space. Um, again, with the, with the spelling of the words, when we get into, for example, the Sarasalmus on the stock keyboard, what's nice is I've always typed in this word as the capital, so it's going to give it to me um, as an autocorrect for a capitally spelled Sarasalmus. In other keyboards, as you'll see later on, not all of them are going to give you the, cap the capitalization every time. For most of them, you're going to have to first push the shift button and then start either swiping or typing or doing something in that sense to get an autocomplete with the capitalization um, word. So that's pretty much what uh, remembering and you know, the user dictionary and typing a phrase over and over is going to be like on your Android stock 2.1 keyboard. Again, um, you have your shift button. When you push it again, the green light means that it's engaged, so it's always typing in capital. Uh, going to the numbers, you're going to get your symbols. Doing the alt of that is going to get your alternative or your alternative symbols. Yeah, um, you can do triple periods, kind of all this different stuff. Going back to ABC, as you can see to the left of the space bar, there is a microphone. So let's try that out real quick. My name is Peter. 
Um, and right now, as you can see, my name is Peter's Underline, so if you push the backspace, all of it is deleted. You're going to have to first push the space to engage that that is what you wanted, and then, for example, if it spelled my name wrong or it misdid one of the words, um, misheard one of the words, and you can go back in now and delete individual words. Again, while it's underlined, if you push backspace or delete, it's going to delete the whole thing, so make sure you keep that in mind. Um, so let's get into, and again, when it, this keyboard supports long press. You get your edit, edit text options, um, and you can do everything from there. So for now, we're just going to select all, and we're going to kill it off. And let's start typing our new phrase so you guys can kind of see what it is like on a day-to-day -day basis. So hi, first, again, let's disengage this uh, auto capitalization. So. Hi, space, then I'm going to go back in and do my comma, so it auto-inserts it. Go back to your ABC. And again, as you can see, I'm clicking on the words, whether they're orange or not, to kind of skip past typing them. And again, going back in, doing the question mark, auto-inserts it. And once the going is orange, I can push it. I can push the space bar to auto complete the word and insert the space. Do. One more time with that question mark. And then finally, we are going to have. Again, as you can see, I haven't typed in dinner with a capital before, so it's going to give me the lowercase. Uh, and pushing that is going to, at this time, capitalize it since it's at the beginning of the sentence. But if you have not typed in a word before that you capitalize that maybe their dictionary does not, again, that is, that is going to put in the lower capitalization. So make sure that when you're typing, if you want a word to be added for convenience later to do it really quickly, make sure you type it exactly how you want it. Um, and then add it to the dictionary. So, dinner is at five. Okay, so as you can see, that is the Android Stock 2.1 keyboard running on a Samsung Captivate. And this is Carries.net bringing you six keyboard reviews today, as well as swipe invites. Valid from September 1st to September 2nd in the contest. So what that means is you can go to our post on carace.com, uh, register and leave a comment between September 1st and September 2nd at the given time in the post. Um, and then when we go back through on September 2nd after the contest is over, we're going to pick 50 people at random. We are also partnering up with gizmodo.com and gsmarina.com who also have additional invites, so go to their pages to see those. Thanks, and stay tuned for the rest of the other five videos that we're going to be doing today.